Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Coach Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. So, we're going to take a look at some games in Major League Baseball for Sunday, September 26th. As the season is really coming down to the close, there are still playoff positions left to be had. So, let's take a look at some of the games on tap. But before we do that, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP Club section here which has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So let's take a look at some of these games. Royals and Tigers. Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Pirates are going nowhere, but the Phillies still have a chance at a playoff spot, although the slim chance, they need to beat the Pirates to have a chance heading into the final series against the Braves. The Phillies are burning hot at the moment. You can see that they have won four out of their last six. The Pirates are average status, and they have uh, won three out of their last six. Phillies are burning hot versus average for the Pirates. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Phillies are steady over the last few days at plus 16, and the Pirates are at plus 12. The Phillies have yet to name their starter for this game, and the Pirates are going with Max Kranich, who is seven in, excuse me, one in three with a high ERA of 7.28. But surprisingly, he's been a pretty solid bet at plus $55. If you take a look at the totals predictor, you see that the Phillies and the Pirates, uh, let's see, the Pirates are trending in games slightly over the line. The Phillies are trending in games under the line. So it's probably best to avoid the over-under in this game. But let's take a look at the score predictor. You see the scores prediction has the Phillies with an 8-3 to three edge, but less than the toss of a coin in confidence of 48%. So take a look at that as you get closer to the game. But I don't think this is really going to matter. The Phillies are playing for something the Pirates aren't. The Phillies will win this one at home and win relatively easy. Rangers and Orioles, not looking at that one. White Sox, Indians. Marlins, Rays, Nationals, Reds. See a full slate of games, but we'll take a look at some of the most important ones. Here we go. The Mets and the Brewers. If you take a look at this, the Brewers are ice cold down. They have lost their last four. And the Mets are dead. But but the Brewers are firmly entrenched for a playoff spot. Winners of the uh, National League Central Division. Or very soon to clinch National League Central anyway. But while the Mets swim playoff chances. Very, very slim. They're pretty much out of the playoff race. Uh, the pitching matchup is Carlos Carrasco for the Mets. And Freddie Peralta for the Brewers. You can see that Carrasco is 1-3 with a 5.24 ERA. And he is minus $322 on the pitcher profit oscillator, so he has not been a good bet. Peralta is 9-5 with a 2.65 ERA, but he has been a very solid bet at plus 202. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Brewers have dipped. Because of their last four, they were up at plus 22. They are all the way down to plus 2. But again, they're kind of just playing out the string because they are pretty much entrenched in first in the division. And the Mets are at plus 1. The score's prediction has the Mets in a tight game, losing in a tight game by a 5-4 to score, five to four score. Confidence in prediction is 85% for the Brewers to come away with the win in this one. The score's prediction shows the Mets trending in games over the line, the Brewers trending in games under the line, so I would avoid the over-under on this one. But I think that uh, the Brewers will win in a near lock. The Blue Jays and the Twins, not really a game that we need to look at. Here's one, the Cubs and the Cardinals. The Cardinals are flying high in the NL Central. You see that they have won their last six and they are burning hot. The Cubs have dead status. They have lost five out of their last six. Jake Woodruff, or Jake Woodford, excuse me, is scheduled to pitch for the Cardinals. And Keegan Thompson is scheduled to pitch for the Cubs. Woodford is... 3-3 three and three with a 3.92 ERA and a very, very good bet, plus $585. While Thompson, although has an identical 3-3 three and three record and a little bit better ERA of 3.4, has not been a very good bet at minus $124. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here the Cardinals are way up here at the top at plus 29. They've been there since September the 18th, while the Cubs are rock bottom at zero. The scores prediction has the Cardinals in a blowout 11 to 1 with a very high percentage of confidence in 75%. The totals predictor has 
Cardinals under the line slightly. The Cubs way over the line. I think that's where this is trending here. I think that this is going to be an over. I think the Cardinals will win easily. Giants and the Rockies. Astros, A's. Mariners, Angels. A lot of good games here. Here's the next one we want to look at, though. The Braves and the Padres. The Braves have a chance to lock up the NL East if they can play well against San Diego. The Braves are burning hot at the moment. Winners of their last four. They were four and two over their last six. And the Padres are dead stats. They have lost their last five, and they have just stumbled really badly over the last couple months of the season, really. Uh, the pitching matchups have not yet been determined for this game, so let's take a look at the power rankings indicator. You can see here, this should not be much of a surprise. Atlanta has skyrocketed near the top at plus 27, and San Diego is at plus 8. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under in this game, you can see that we got here the blue line compared to the black line, right? So you got minus two points right here for Atlanta, so they're under the line. And if you look down here at San Diego, they are trending a bit over the line. So in, in this kind of scenario, I try to avoid betting the over and under. The scores prediction has the Braves in a very solid margin of victory, 11 to 4, with a confidence in prediction at 87%. I tend to agree with this. The Padres really have nothing to play for anymore. They're just waiting for the offseason to start. The Braves will win this one. Cover and pick the over. Dodgers and the Diamondbacks. The Yankees and the Red Sox. This is the last game we want to look at for this week. This is a classic American League East battle. The Yankees are in third in the division. The Red Sox are second. Both teams still have a chance at the playoffs. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. If you look at the power ranking indicator... See here that Boston is up at plus 26, and the Yankees have been up and down. They are, are climbing back up, and they're up at plus 18. Jordan Montgomery is set to pitch for the Yankees. He is 6-6 six and six with a 3.55 ERA. And if we get that up, there we go. And he has a plus 208 on the pitcher profit oscillator. Eduardo Rodriguez has a 4.97 ERA, but has an 11-8 and eight record, and he is a very solid bet at plus $423. The total predictor shows the Yankees trending in games under the line lately, and Boston trending in games over the line for, you know, at least the last week, week and a half now. The scores predictor has the Red Sox winning by an 8-5 margin with a 72% level of confidence. 8-5 is 13. 13, when the line is not yet set, but 13 probably will be an over, most likely will be an over. I would bet the over, and I think the Red Sox have enough to win at home. So there you have it. Those are all the games for September 26th in Major League Baseball. Enjoy the games, happy betting, and we will see you next time.